All right, uh, Shalom. Before I start, we give all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Al Shai Bahashim, Rachachrash, the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim, Wa Akwatim, uh, learning and teaching in truth and in sincerity. This is going to be another uh, video through the Spirit and, you know, dealing with uh, the mark of the beast. Not, uh, I mean, not. Uh, I will, but not necessarily breaking it down what it is, but the fact that how it is, all right, if that makes any, if that's clear enough, all right, because you have, uh, and I'm trying to find the scripture that they use to prove it, but you have <clears throat> people to say that, oh, you know, Paul had the mark of the beast, or the mark of the beast existed, uh, it's, it's philosophy, no, all right, the mark of the beast didn't exist up until this time today, all right, so the mark of the, the, mark of the beast in and of itself is not uh, philosophy, all right, the image of the beast ties in with philosophy and the uh, Esau Edom system, the, run, the way that they ran ancient Rome and the way that they run America today, all right, and what their plan is for the new world order, all right, so the image of the beast has been around, but the mark of the beast in and of itself is, wasn't created uh, and introduced into this world into the latter times, all right? I'm just going to be grabbing certain scriptures to prove so, all right, to destroy that argument of the fact that uh, the mark of the beast existed back then, you know, it's a way of thinking, all right? Because if that's the case, then we w then people would have already taken it. The, the, we'd already be in the kingdom. If the mark of the beast exi existed at any other time period, we would already be in the kingdom because the Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, would have already come back and laid waste to this world and established the kingdom. All right, and the first piece of proof of that, I'm going to grab Acts chapter 1. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Acts chapter 1, I'll start straight at verse 6. This is after Yahushai had died and risen, and he revealed himself to his disciples. Uh, so Acts 1 and 6, it says, When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, uh, the disciples asked of the Lord, saying, Lord, Wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? Because And they asked this question because they knew certain prophecies that when the Messiah would come, he was going to take down whatever the leading and ruling uh, kingdom was and set up the nation of Israel. And what was his response? Verse 7, And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his power. So he basically told them no, all right, you're gonna you're gonna receive. There's there's more things that have to happen. All right. In other words, all right. He and he he indirectly told them no. But the fact that he told them no means what? That at that time it was not. All right. We live in the end of days in the last days, but at that time it was not uh, the end of the world. All right. You still had many more empires that had to fall and rise. So now we're going to jump to. Revelation 13. All right, so keep that in mind. If we were, if Christianity was, if believing in Christianity or if uh, uh, whatever, you know, some of this, I've heard all types of things from scoffers. If it was anything other than the RFID micro trip, we'd have already got delivered up out of here. This place would have already fallen. All right, so now this is Revelation chapter 13. I'm going to start at. God, now this is Revelation, I'm going to start at 13, this is Revelation 13, I'm going to start at 11. It says, and I beheld, beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. Alright, so a kingdom rising up out of the earth, setting itself up, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. And we know today that this lamb that spake as a dragon with two horns is modern day America. Alright, the two horns being uh, the so-called Democratic and Republican uh, Party. And it says he spake as a dragon. So, hang on. Kind of a lot. All right. Uh, I'm out here at work. Got to move around. <laughs> but it says, uh, and he spake as a dragon. That dragon mainly referring to the draconian laws. All right. But the Esau, Esau Edom's wicked cruelty in how he judges the world. His punishments that he dishes out to enemies both domestic and foreign. <laughs> All right. So now this is verse 12. It says, and he exercises all the power of the first beast before him and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. Okay, so now this is perfect. So it tells you that this, because 
this is the, the last beast that would rule, but it, it's exercising the beast before it. America's exercising uh, the same power and is using the same tools and tactics that ancient Rome did. And also, in verse 12 it says, which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. And what's the, everything that people do, basically Esau Edom makes you worship ancient Rome and Greece without you truly realizing it. So that means what? That means that those empires had to fall. This is another way of knowing that the mark of the beast wasn't set up in those times. All right, those empires fell and disappeared and these newer ones rose up and these newer ones aren't the kingdom of heaven. So the mark of the beast didn't come back then. It did not exist back then. It says whose deadly wound was healed. So this is that beast revived. All right. So now we're going to jump down to verse Salak. Now we're going to jump down to verse uh, um, 15. Yep. So now keep in mind, or no, I'll jump, uh, jump down to 14. All right, so that beast has been revived. All right, ancient Rome has, has been revived through modern day America. That's why we all do, that's why everyone's uh, gymnos. All right, everyone goes to the gym when they get off of work. Everyone is entertained by bread and circus. It's the same shit all over again. All right, Revelation 13 and 14. It says, uh, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live all right so this new beast doing all these miracles all right all the uh so-called uh farce airplanes a lot all right you got all these medicines out here the surgeries via transportation all these things that we didn't have all this time ago all right all the power that this nation has it says, which had the wound by the sword and did live. Uh, it says, uh, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast, beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So keep in mind, this beast had to, it suffered a great wound and it had to be revived. So Rome fell down and it was revived today in America. It still has yet to mention the actual mark of the beast. Why? Because the mark wasn't introduced in ancient Rome. The mark wasn't introduced uh, 2,000 some years ago. It didn't come down until this time now, which is something that only the elect and the one-third of the nation are meant to understand so they don't take it. And the rest of you people, if the Lord ain't with you, you're going to take it. All right. Especially people saying, oh, well, how are you going to eat? Oh, well, no, it's a philosophy, brother. Or blah, blah, blah. You know, all this and all that. Verse 16, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. So now the mark is being introduced. When? After the beast has been uh, healed from its deadly wound. All right. The, the final kingdom that would be ruling. That is when the mark of the beast was introduced to the world. Otherwise, when Yahushai, when they had asked, when the disciples had asked Yahushai that question in Acts chapter 1. He'd have said, yeah, it's go time. And he would have got to, uh, like it tells you in Matthew, uh, I believe that's 24 and 31. All the uh, tribes of the earth shall mourn. All right, because he's going to be laying down that spray can of whoop ass. All right. Uh, verse 17, Revelation 13, 17. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So, you know, given the rest of the breakdown for the mark itself, which we know that uh, it's the, micro, the RFID microchip, all right? And so, you know, let's say we wanted to be uh, stupid, all right? Let's, play, let's say we wanted to play pretend stupid uh, and say that we don't know if it's RFID chip. By reading the scripture and getting the history, all right, we bare minimum know that the mark of the beast did not exist back then, all right? It, 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 this was in time prophecy the whole book of revelation all right and so now i'm gonna pull it up i'll see i'll have to uh add the screenshots in we're just gonna see when the book of revelation was even written all right and we'll, i'll just type it in real quick
because we know that John was on the island of Patmos. You know, I went into it uh, some time ago how he got there. He ended up surviving. Uh, <laughs> they tried to put him to death, tried to put him to death, and he survived it. So they sentence, sentenced uh, John to that island. All right, I'll start. Let's see. I just pulled this little article up on um, Google. Let me uh, screenshot it so I can have it in the video. I'll just read this excerpt. It says, as he himself says in Revelation uh, 1 and 9, it says, John was exiled to the island of Patmos in 95 AD during the persecution of the Christians by the Roman Empire Domitian between 81 and 96 AD. All right, and just a quick note. When this book was written, the book of Revelation, the majority of... If I remember correctly, John was the last living disciple, the, uh, you know, a direct disciple who had been there with Yahweh Shai at that time. So who, everyone was dead, basically. All, right? all of his brethren were dead. So how were they going to, they had to come back. All right? They had to come back in these days now. All right? This is when the Mark of the Beast came into existence. Everybody back, every. <laughs> A, a lot of Israelites were already were being put to death uh, back then. I'm not saying all, all right, but everyone was the disciples were already dead. So how are they? How are they even gonna? Hey, look, man. A lot of people don't. If, if you can understand what I'm saying, you know, a lot of Jake don't really know what's going on. All right, I'll grab uh, this real quick. Revelation 10 and verse 11. And this was said to John, and he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. All right, and he didn't make it off that island; he died there. So that means that he was going to come back in the, in the latter days. All right, and preach this word again, which he is somewhere doing this now, shouting to the top of his lungs what the mark of the beast is. All right, and how it's the RFID microchip. Uh, microchip. All right, so this this wasn't going to be too long of a. Uh, you know, video. I just wanted to, the spirit hit me to, to dabble into that. You know, just to show that little uh, piece of evidence. All right. The mark of the beast didn't exist back then. It only came into existence today because the technology has only been is only around now. All right. The the beast uh, Esau Edom, the fourth beast. There, it's now able to perform those miracles and that power. Ancient Rome didn't have that power and those miracles to bring fire down before men like it tells you in that chapter all right but they have all of it now all right it's something physical and literal it's not metaphorical it's not uh, uh philosophic all right so with that let me give all praises to yahweh bashem yahweh shai bashem rachachrash double honors to the apostles and elders great millstone peace blessings and salutations to all like akim wa'ak wa'akim learning teaching and truth and in sincerity and with that i'm gonna say shalom